is a true model of what good old Southern hospitality is all about. She is the founder of a nonprofit coffee shop in Atlanta that helps refugees get on their feet, not just financially. Her main mission is to make sure that they feel welcome in their community. We call that a good neighbor. I love so good, Jesse. Every time from Refugee Coffee, say hi to Kitty, everybody. Hey, everybody. So meet everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, so, well, Kitty, yeah. how did you come up with this idea? Oh, good question. Okay. So my husband and I. I moved. try. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. This is your professional. I'm not on my bed, but I try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, my husband and I moved to Clarkston, Georgia, which is a part of Atlanta, and we moved there 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Clarkston's been called the most diverse square mile in the country by Time Magazine, and oh. that's because in this little square mile, it's 65% uh, foreign-born residents, and most of those are resettled refugees and immigrants who have fled war and persecution and, and genocide sometimes. So we moved there, and just had day jobs, and I fell in love with our neighbors. Like, I just got to know people from all over the world, and I fell in love with Culturally, their... that's going to be cool. Oh, the cultures are beautiful, the music, the food, and then mm. just our people that we got to know. They're um, heroic, they're hardworking, they're resilient. It's just amazing, mm. and I'm kind of a natural networker, so I wanted everybody in my other world to meet everybody in my to mesh. new world. To mesh, yeah. 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 And then the other thing is that refugees, when they first arrive, the jobs they're offered are usually kind of like survival jobs. So they're not jobs that lead to flourishing. So I had this crazy idea that what if we had a coffee shop mm -hmm. in our little town and we provided jobs and I could bring my worlds together. And so I went home and I told my husband, I don't know how to do it, but this has to happen. Like it just has to happen. Yeah. So, and it did. <laughs> it's it's So how yeah. does Refugee Coffee work? Okay, and I'm going to correct you on television. It's Refuge Coffee, but everybody Refu calls oh, us Refuge. Refugee Coffee. Because you just because. said Refugee, that's why. Yeah, it, yep. Is, yep. it yep. was probably a terrible branding mistake. No. But it's our name. So. No, but also, coffee is refuge for some of us. Yes, <laughs> yes I love that. Yes. That makes way it. more sense. Yes. 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 That's the meshing of the world. I like yes. it. Yes. So Refuge Coffee, how does that work? Well, the way it works is we employ people, re resettle refugees or immigrants from our community, yeah. and it's a... 12 to 18 month program. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, yeah, there's one, our first truck. Um, we employ them for 12 to 18 months. We pay a competitive wage plus tips. But that employment involves on the job training. They learn mad barista skills right off the bat, yeah. and customer service, all that stuff. Um, it involves some classroom time, and we pay for that as well. We want them to have the time to breathe and, and just dream mm -hmm. for the first time, possibly. Um, we provide a mentor. We, we decided we really wanted to go deep rather than wide and to focus on relationships more mm -hmm. than on skills. We do both. So it's, it's, it's a job training program that lasts 18 months or a little less. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the organic things that happens that I really love is when people leave our training program, they have this vast network of American and refugee friends. And so you know, when you get a and job, more confident. you need that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we, everything we do, we run it past this question of, is it wildly welcoming? You know, this product, this shop, this event we're gonna do, this training we're gonna do, if it is welcoming, then we're gonna really think hard about doing it. Yeah. So that's how it works. I love that. It's, yeah. it's so smart. And, and it's such a simple way to really impact and get everybody together, the community as well. Who doesn't love a coffee shop? Your first oh. job is a coffee shop, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where recently? I got discovered, yep. yeah. Oh. Yeah, coffee shop scenes Seriously? in San Diego were a huge deal. It's when I was homeless, and I got, yeah, there was a little coffee shop. It was going under, and I asked her if she could try and stay open for a month, and I would try and bring customers in, and we ended up surviving together. I yeah. love that. Well, and you it's get a the great power culture. of that. Yeah, it's, a, People can it's hang out. an environment yeah. that doesn't have an agenda other yeah. than just... Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we reached out to Bob's Red Mill, who loves your mission and the work that you're doing at I Refuge love Bob's Coffee. Red Mill. I got it right, Refuge Coffee. <laughs> um, so, to show their support, they're donating $5,000 just to help out. Yes. I love oh, Bob's Red Mill, actually. I love it. <laughs> um, I, I thank you so 
so much for doing oh, this. Thank you. And like Joe said, like we need stuff like this, not even just in this country, just all around the world. It's such a beautiful thing to think outside oneself, your community, and look outside that, that place wow. and, and help other people joy. prosper. Yeah. Thank so you. cool.